It looks good though, right? The tie. What? Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Dan Lewis with WMNBC XDCC wishing all you folks in West Michigan a very lovely evening. Now we have quite the unusual story for you tonight. Um, two college students renting out a place in downtown Grand Rapids have smoked more pot than what was thought to be humanly possible. Uh, and since then, they have trapped themselves in their basement where they take care of their laundry. Um, they're trapped currently, but there is a rescue team on the way. Uh, and I'm now going to hand it over to Terry, who is alive on the scene and can hopefully provide us with some more details. Terry. Terry? Hey, Dan, it's Terry coming at you live at a local Grand Rapids residence. I got a little weird of a story for you right now. We got a few boys in college who have uh, locked themselves in sort of a THC hot box, should you say. Oh, and whoa, whoa, Terry. Hey, uh, Terry, are, are you implying that uh, now one of or both of the gentlemen's lives in this scenario are now somehow in danger? Yeah, yep. Um, we've placed our bets and we're letting time take its toll. Uh, see what happens. Nice. All right. Sorry for interrupting, Terry. You may proceed. Oh, it's okay. Hopefully, um, we are able to get our way through this roadblock we've ran into. Obviously, it ain't budging at the best of its capabilities, um, but hopefully, we'll be able to figure a way through uh, this door. That's great to hear. Thanks, Terry. Now, it sounds like one of the junkies in the basement has somehow provided us with a live video feed. Let's get that up on the screen here, shall we? Oh. Oh, man. Uh, hello? Are you there? God? God, is that you? Yeah, kind of. Uh, Dan Lewis with WMNBC XDCC here. Uh, now, I hear you guys are in quite the predicament. Would you care to explain a little bit more for our viewers? Oh, yeah, 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 man. Uh, uh, me, and, me and Peter, we came down here tonight to do my laundry. And uh, I just got done doing laundry and we went back out the door and door locked it's just scary down here man right that's what i've been told and do you think that this situation you both have found yourselves in is due in any part to all the pot you've been smoking well, well yeah man wait 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 is, is this live yes we're live on the air uh, no no I, I don't i don't know what pot is uh, okay then. And, uh, hey, do you think you could turn that camera around? I think, uh, our audience would like to see the both of you. Uh, yeah. It's just me right now. I don't know where Danny went, but... Ooh. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I, I think I know where he went. And, uh, cannibalism does not sit well with our viewer audience, so, uh, maybe wipe your mouth off. Um, we're gonna go back to Terry, uh, and see what, see what's going on there. Um, Terry? Yeah, I thought you said 200. Nah, man, only one. 200 for both kids. Only one kid died. Terry? Uh, hey, Dan. We're live? Yeah. Um, we got a current hardworking worker with us who is going to help us get through the door. Come, 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 come get this. Come get this. Um, it's real interesting work. Um, there's a lot of tines and needles and um, moving mechanical parts. Uh, nowadays, a lot of electric, and there's even a battery involved, so... Better keep my distance, you know, in case he gets electrocuted. Um, I don't want the same fate. So real dangerous work going on out here. Um, hopefully to see these college boys help them see the light of day again, even though it's night. Um, a new word from the station. Uh, the door is locked. There's no getting in through here, unfortunately. Um, Believe me, I've tried. Uh, yeah, no, there's no getting in there, unfortunately. Uh, it's a sad day. I'm gonna have to flag, flags half staff tomorrow morning. Back to you, Dan. 
Well, that's just a shame, isn't it? Well, let's cut back to the basement hippie and give him the bad news. So yeah, man, if you ever want to just like come over sometime, chill, smoke, like you know where I live now, so oh, yeah, yeah. Just come over whenever. Dope. Hey, uh, you still there? I think he's talking to you, man. Yeah, I'm still here, man. What's up? Uh. Who, who was that that you were uh, just talking to there? This, this guy came down and helped me with my laundry. Who's that? Dan! What? How's it going, Dan? Coming at you live from a basement. That's pretty scary. <laughs> my guy, how'd you get down there? I went through the door. Terry. Terry. You... Terry, you realize you're stuck in a basement with a cannibal right now, right? You didn't tell me? Never asked, bro. I didn't ask, Dan. This guy. <laughs> this guy. News. Report Commercial. the news. Commercial. No, we gotta make money. <laughs> all right. All right. I, think, I think that's all the time we have for uh, this story. Um, please tune in later, though, when we will be talking about the ongoing chimp war in Syria. Uh, thank you, all of West Michigan. Wishing you a great rest of your night.